Welcome to Tree Update 34, this time coming to you from Uganda. This month, I'll be in Uganda visiting four of our tree planting partners who are working really hard to restore the forest as well as protect chimpanzee habitats. I'll also be joined by my colleague Katerina, who you may recognize from previous tree updates as well. Stay tuned until the very end of this video and we have bonus content coming to you from Indonesia this time. First, we visited Kijani in Gulu. Here, your trees are helping curb the biggest driver of deforestation in Uganda, charcoal production. Charcoal is produced from trees, and this is putting Uganda's natural forests under immense pressure. To alleviate this, Kijani is planting native species on local farms, which grow up to two meters tall in the first five years. The farmers then cut some of the branches from the trees, which are sold for fuel wood, whilst leaving the root structure of the trees intact so that it can continue to grow. This way, your searchers are helping to protect natural forests by reducing the need to cut down trees for charcoal. This week, I'm in Hoima, visiting another one of our tree planting organizations here in Uganda, the Jane Goodall Institute, who we have been working with since 2017 to help bring chimps back from the brink of extinction. Here, your searchers help us plant trees in what we call forest corridors. This allows us to plant trees in order to connect remnant patches of the forest to allow chimps to roam freely from tree to tree in the search of food, mate, and shelter. Next up, I visited a new partner, Gearless. We work with five cooperatives in Uganda in partnership with the Gearless Foundation. And in total, they are planting over 50 different species of trees. I visited one of their nurseries in Nakirebe, close to Kampala. Soil composition is vital to survival rate. So Nora here is making sure that the seedlings will get the right ratio of sand to soil. I also gave a tutorial on how to map polygons on our monitoring app, Apple. Polygons are one of the ways we keep track of where trees are planted so that they can be monitored over time. It's week three of my visit in Uganda, and this time I am two hours south of Hoima in Kakumiro village, visiting one of our partners here, Trees for Humanity. You may have noticed that tree nurseries use a lot of plastic waste. That's because the seedlings need to be put in plastic pots so that they can be protected from changes in temperature and for changes in humidity as well. So here at Trees for Humanity, they're experimenting with these compostable pots that are made out of banana leaf. They hire local women from the community to make them. And if this is something that works out well in the nurseries, then we can expand it to our other projects. So now I'm gonna show you how to make one of these. First, you take one of these dried up banana leaves and you wrap it around the bottle just like this. Then you take another one and you wrap it on the other side. Then you take uh, one of these smaller pieces like that and you wrap it around the base exactly where you want to fold your banana leaf to get the right size. So now you fold it over. Then you take another one and wrap it here. And you cut off the remaining edges. And there you go. Not as good looking as the other ones here, but this is more or less what it looks like. <laughs> That's it from Uganda. Thanks for sticking with me through the entire video. And because I promised it, here is our additional content from the project in Indonesia. Can we please redo that? <laughs>